What up world? Today I'm going to give you a quick video history lesson on uh, White Egypt. Not White Egypt today in its modern sense of the word, but uh, Egypt in antiquity. What you would call Kemet or Tamed Re, whatever word you want to use to describe Kemet or Egypt. I'm not going to hit you with any photos or of engravings on the walls. I'm not going to hit you with any of that. This is actually my road, but I'm not going to hit you with any of this stuff. I'm not going to hit you with this stuff these because uh, these are actually caricatures. These are not real people. These are caricatures. They're only real people if they have a cartouche with the name of the person on it. I'm not going to hit you with any of that. What I will do is hit you with some real information, some real racist stuff, some real information that you can use today, something that you could go research for yourself. First off, everything is not on the internet. Sorry if you've been getting your Google scholarship on or your Wikipedia on, but everything is not on the internet. Let's start off with uh, Blacks in Antiquity by Frank M. Snowden. The reason I'm starting with this book is because uh, you have to know what a Negro is so you won't get them confused with the white people of Egypt or Kemet. You have to know what a Negro is. If you don't know who Frank M. Snowden is, uh, he's a guy that Ivan Van Sertima confronted. This guy, Ivan Van Sertima confronted this guy. And I'll show you why. A lot of people claim to have read this book. They came before Columbus, but it's obvious after just a few minutes of speaking with them that they haven't actually read the book. Even the critiques of this book People haven't actually read it because all the answers are in this book. But anyway, that's another story for another day. But let's start off. What is a Negro? So you won't get them confused with the white people of Egypt or the white people of Kenya. What is a Negro? Here we go. Want to know what a Negro is? Read this for yourself. Take a pause for the call. A Negro, you would usually say uh, woolly hair, thick lips, flat nose, dark skin. I don't know if you can read that. The reasons why Van Sertima confronted this man. Show you some photos. Not those illustrations. We're going to start out with the first one. There we go. I'm going to show you all of the photos. Just a few. So you can get an understanding of why Van Sertima confronted this man. Here's a good one. Keep in mind, this is the Hellenistic period. Uh, the Greco-Roman period. Hellenistic. This is after Kemet or Egypt has already fallen. It's no longer in power. It, it, it's when the white people are in, in rule, are in control. Or as they would say, other white people are in control. As they would say. But most of these photos are from items from... Greece, Rome, and Athens. Some of them are from Africa and Alexandria, but most of them are from Greece. And if you didn't know, it's easier for you to prove Greece black than it is for you to prove Greece was white. Although we do know that Greece was white people and founded by white people. But it's easier to prove that Greece was developed by black people and this was a black colony. If you didn't know, now you know. Now, if you didn't know, if you don't, if you haven't caught on to it, and what Van Sertima confronted this man about was that he's showing one type of Negro, and that is the true Negro, as they would say, the true Negro. You know. Flat nose, thick lips, curly hair. I don't want to be disrespectful or anything, but I don't look like this. No disrespect to anybody that look like this, but I don't look like this. 
And a lot of Negroes don't look like this. A lot. Like nine tenths. Here goes a photo they would love to pump down your throat. This is Alexandria. A slave, as they would say, the Negroes were only slaves in Egypt. And it's just all out, all out false. So let's move forward. If you don't know what a true Negro is, goes a, a book from J.A. Rogers, Africa's Gift to America. Goes a map. If you didn't know, most of Africa was called Ethiopia. It's the Ethiopian the Ethiopic Ocean and it was called it all the way up until like the 1600s and 70% of Africa was called Ethiopia it goes uh, the true Negro melt you see the now licked Negroes the true Negro in the words of W.E.B. Du Bois he said the Negro is not even is no not not safe. The Negro can't even lay claim to his own continent. The Negro has been relegated to a little section on his own continent. Those are the words of W. E. B. Du Bois, 1915, in his book The Negro. If you don't have that book, you should go get it. In the 80s. Well, uh, here goes one I was looking for. But we're not gonna actually deal with this. This is the white pharaohs. This is opposite day, clearly. This is the white pharaohs. But uh, this is the 25th dynasty. The Ethiopic dynasty or the Cushitic dynasty. But uh, I'm not really here to talk about these people. Because uh, this came out in 2008, man. We all knew about the 25th dynasty. Let them brag or boast about, I mean. All these years and you just give us the 25th? I mean, let's, let's be for real. Let's move forward, though. This light work. Look at your American government. Your, your American government. Here we go. Here goes what I'm looking for. Here goes what I'm looking for. But before we get here, I'm going to show you what led me to this. Anybody who's been doing a little research, or any black person rather, who's been doing any research has undoubtedly came across Dr. Ben. And this book should be titled The White Man of the Nile and His Family. And, uh, I'm going to show you some photos, but I'm not going to show them to you right now. I'm just going to show you what page they're on, page 291. And he makes a case about the, the white man <laughs> of Kemet or Tomateray. But he actually got those photos and, it, and it, the descriptions from this guy. Another J.A. Rogers book, Sex and Race. This is uh, volume one. Can't show you the photos, but uh, this is where Dr. Ben got it from. Not to take shots or anything at Dr. Ben, because Dr. Ben put in a lot of work. But uh, this is where he got the photos from. Just read, just read this bottom description. Pause the video. Dress these Africans in American-made clothes, and these same scientists would instantly call them Negroes. Keep that in mind. I'll show you the photos in just a minute. Now back to this. Because uh, J.A. Rogers sourced all of his work. J.A. Rogers did a lot of work. And if he was wrong, it was only because his sources were wrong. And when he's right, he's on point. But this is where J.A. Rogers got, this from, got those photos from. We're gonna go back almost a century. I could go back to the 1800s to the 1700s, but we don't have to go back that far today. What year is that? 
1928. This is a Geographic magazine. A lot of stuff written in this book you would not see written in today's world. Because a lot of today's stuff is actually watered down stuff. It's a lot of just fluffy talk. Back then, in these days, in this time period, and, and back farther, people were, were much realer with their words, more raw. And when they spoke, they spoke as if black people or colored people of the world wasn't going to read their words, because they wasn't. But uh, let's get to it. Yo. You can't even go that far in the book. What else? Some slick stuff, yo. Look at the mammy. Protecting the little chilling. All right, let's get to it, though. Ethiopian history is actually older than Egypt. Look at the Emperor of His Majesty, Haile Selassie. All my Rastafarians will appreciate this man, or they know this man. But let's get to it. These are white people, as they would say. There's not actually her in these people, we, in these people uh, heads. This is actually or uh, weaves. False hair. Like I said a minute, a minute ago, practice died out in the 1930s but that's actually weave look at these white men and you're probably wondering why I'm calling them white men so these are the photos that are in those books I just showed you I can show them to you now these photos came from Jay Rogers. Came from Jay Rogers. If you want to read it, pause it. Because there's a white man. Look at this white man. And if you're wondering why I'm calling him a white man, just read it. Just read it. Pause it and read it. If I can really go back right. Back to right. Right here. Pause this and read this. After you read it, you're probably like, what? What, what, what does this say? Although surrounded by Negro tribes and having some admixture of Negro blood brought in through centuries of slaveholding. The Ethiopian is by no means a Negro. What? What? What was that? He is dark skinned. With hair usually kinky and lips frequently thick. But he has a good high bridge nose. Because you know, Negroes cannot have noses with bridges. I mean, it doesn't get more scientific than that. If you haven't caught on to this video, man, it's opposite day. And I'm in last place. Because these are white people. Why? Because the white man told us that these are white people. The Western world, the Europeans. I mean, and let's just be honest, people. If they came out with movies of, of, of black people in Egypt and black people doing all these great things, nobody will watch it. Because yo, black people just aren't capable of these things. So um, I su suggest anybody who wants to read more, learn more, to check out Diop's work and read up on the modern falsification of history. Yo, some bonus footage for my Hebrew Israelites. Throw you a bone. Let's play Hebrew Israelites, man. Pause that, read that, man. This time I'm really out, man. Yo. Look at these folks, man, with their air frames. Way before the Black Power movement. 